Thank you for listening to the Crown Refs Podcast. The audio experience for basketball officials. Serve the game. And thanks for watching Coach D's Court exclusively on Patreon. Let's go! So in episode two, we're going to focus on the hand check signal. This video is intended for you to improve your presentation of the hand check signal. And I'm going to talk about a couple times on the court where we most commonly call hand check. One important note about the hand check, and I'm seeing a lot of officials that are reporting hand checks on shooting fouls. We should never really have a hand check on a shooting foul because it's most of the time it's going to be a push, right? If, and I know what officials are doing. They're mimicking the one-handed push, right? Usually a, uh, B1, the defender trailing from behind, maybe pushes with the one arm, but I still want you to report the two-handed push because a hand check is intended to be called on a ball handler when they're dribbling, okay? Usually it's out on the perimeter, um, on a drive to the basket, although on drives to the basket, keep in mind we wanna have a patient whistle, letting the play start, develop, finish, and decide, and holding our whistle on blow -bys. So if there's a legal contact, let's say, just at the start of a drive, and you give it that extra second to see if the offensive player can get their head and shoulders around the defender's torso, we're gonna to wanna to hold the whistle there. Especially on plays below the free throw line, drives below the free throw line, gonna think twice about having a hand check there. Um, gotta be patient, gotta be patient on those plays, okay? So just keep that in mind, hand checks are non-shooting fouls out on the perimeter. Now when you report your hand check signal, what I like to do is you're grabbing your wrist on the top side, Okay, so make sure we're grabbing it on the top side. I see officials grab under here. I don't think it looks as strong as grabbing on top, all right? So our first step, we're grabbing and our hand check signal starting right around our chest or our armpit area. I like it back, right? This way we can cover more ground when we extend it. If we start it out here, then we don't have as much ground to cover, which isn't gonna show as much illegal contact in my opinion. Remember, when we present fouls to the table, it's gotta be illegal contact. So I don't want to see any soft pushes or soft hand checks because if this happens in the game, this motion, we're not calling that a foul. Okay, so keep that in mind. Make your signals, make your foul calls pop. So at the table, white, 22, hand check. And notice how I'm pushing and finishing it. And it's staying right around chest level. One thing that improved my hand check signal was when I raised the level. Okay, because in the book, I believe it shows it a little low down here. And to me, this just didn't feel strong when I was presented it this way. White 11, hand check. I would always present it and be like, wow, that's, that's soft. It just doesn't feel, I don't feel believable. So then when I made the adjustment of keeping it higher up, pushing it out more, almost like a football signal, the illegal use of hands. See, my hand check signal is very similar to my push. It's just a one-handed push. So grab the top of the wrist and step, all right? Adding that step, that forward motion, that forward movement, makes the signal look even stronger. It almost looks like I'm doing karate here. All right, and I want you to be strong with both hands. Okay, don't just be one dimensional. I'm training everybody here on Patreon and Discord to be versatile, and for me to not even know what your dominant hand is. I wanna look at you present and be like, I don't know if they're a lefty or a righty, because I've seen them from both sides, and both sides are equally as strong. So with your left, same thing. White, 22, hand check. Keep that hand check up and make sure we're finishing, okay? Extended arm is that finish. Just like players are finishing at the rim, coaches are telling them to finish. Same thing here, I'm telling you to finish your signals because that end motion, that end range of motion, just like when you're exercising, is where you really show that strength, okay? A um, couple more times. So white, 22, I'll show you the front version, hand check. See, notice that? Notice how I'm just throwing it out there at the end? Boom, and I'm keeping it up high. I like to present my signals high, high up, right? Having presence, being big, being strong. Um, it doesn't matter your size or height, okay? Um, all right, it's a couple more times. White, 22 with the left. White, 22. 
All right, see how that, that step again adds that little bit of momentum. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you can add a few things and add it to your tool bag. I really appreciate everybody supporting on Patreon. This community has meant so much and I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody grow together. Um, it's just an exciting time to be a part of Crown Ref. So once again, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for listening to the Crown Refs Podcast. Serve the game.